right at the Maestro's caterers, the Bronx Borough President Ruben Diaz Jr. and the Veterans Advisory Council invite the Bronx community to join them as they celebrate the borough's veterans. There's really no way for us to, to, as Gary said, the two words, thank you. There's really no way to express that. All we want to do is bring everybody, as many people together, to have this as an official Bronx Week event, to uh, uh, break bread, to say thank you, but, but more importantly, to tell you that A, we respect you, and B, that we will never, ever trivialize or forget the sacrifices that you and your family have made for us. A few of the veterans were given special recognition as a way to say thank you for their services and hard work. So as soon as I finished high school, I, uh, I enlisted. I enlisted in the um, United States Air Force and uh, I spent my, my, my four years. Um, I sort of came in between uh, Korea and Vietnam. I think that, uh, you know, on behalf of, of all the military people and all the people who serve and all the people who volunteer to serve and uh, I feel great about it. I think it's, uh, it's a recognition that I give a fellow military personnel and um, I think it's one of the, the, the finest honors I could get. My story is kind of crazy because I didn't want to be involved with the VA. But I found myself needing to go and obtain services. So once I got there, I volunteered because I realized not just myself as a veteran, but other veterans needed to get the information and also find out about the service that they are, you know, that they are entitled to. And so that, that prompted me to become a veteran. Uh, a, uh, uh, volunteer. I'm grateful to see all my vets. There's so many faces that I see that give back besides myself. They, they're involved. They make sure vets get what they need. And they're in their community making sure that nobody's left behind. So that's all it is for me. I feel this is a big honor to be recognized by your fellow veterans today. And if you can, uh, you know, give some service to your fellow veteran. If it's just sitting down to listen to them, sit in the lobby with them at the VA hospital someday. Some of them have some very interesting stories. And for those vets who are no longer with us, they were also recognized. One of the Ghost Star mothers were among the crowd of veterans who became a veteran advocate herself after losing her son. Ghost Star mothers are mothers who've lost children in the war. My son paid the ultimate sacrifice on November 27 of 2007. After losing him, I became a veterans advocate. And I keep the memory alive by doing stuff in our community. I have a saying, do not ask me how he died, ask me how he lived and I'll tell you the story of his life. There was a story behind my son's life. And that's the attitude I want other family members to take, to keep the memory alive and don't dwell on the dead and their names will live on forever. He was with the United States Army and um, he lived in Parkchester all his life. And he was a good kid, a great dad, and a great human being. Not because he was my son, but he was my hero. There was a new attraction at this year's Appreciation Breakfast, and that was the photo booth, where vets were able to create more memories. And we say thanks to those who have served the country. For BronxNet, I am Katie Loy Knight.